How's it going everyone? It's Gadget's boy. Sorry, it's a bit echoey in here and it's a bit also uh, darker in here. That's because I'm in this weird warehouse where I get to try out the Citron Ollie. Sorry about the noise as well. <laughs> For the first time and this is no concept car. It's a concept car like no other rather and uh, it's a beautiful it's a beautiful thing and i'm actually happy to be driving this for the first time i get to actually try this and uh see what it's all about before i carry on though let's talk about the design and everything else to do with the citron ollie the citron ollie is an electric multi-activity family vehicle with sustainability at its heart using recycled materials and smart design techniques it's lighter less complicated and truly affordable with a footprint similar to a compact suv at 4.20 meters long 1.6 meters high and 1.90 meters wide. While it defies traditional labeling, it can be a utility vehicle for families, it can be a vehicle for urban exploration, and it can even be an adventure vehicle or a combination of all those things. And it even has the ability to power everyday appliances. On the exterior, the design is not your average. It has a flat bonnet, flat roof, and flat rear pickup bed panels. The side window curves out a little bit whilst connecting to the flat windscreen with a hint of orange frame around the front windscreen to make it stand out. The slightly tilted window reduces the effects of the sun and you can manually flip the windows open for fresh air ventilation. Citroen says the windscreen is vertical because it's the shortest distance between top and bottom and uses the smallest amount of glass. This results in reduced weight and complexity. The smaller screen is less expensive to produce or replace. To open the doors, there's no fancy electronics here. Just a simple door latch, you can pull and open them wide, making it easy to enter and exit the vehicle, and even for pets, it's more accessible. The doors doesn't have any speakers, soundproofing materials, or electric wiring, resulting in the savings of around 1.7 kilograms per door. On the front, it has a bold stance with a new Citroen logo. The new badge purposefully is reminiscent of the original 1919 logo and will appear progressively on future products. The headlights and the taillights looks very similar, looking very sharp, they stick out a little bit and they have this nice blade sort of effect. The front has a hidden hair curtain to aid aerodynamic efficiency. The aeroduct system between the front section of the bonnet and the flat top panel blows air towards the screen, creating a curtain effect for smooth airflow over the roof. The front and back also sees a couple of triangular infrared handles, which are strong hooks to help tow another vehicle out of mud or pull a large obstacle out of the way. Harley's innovation continues with the wheels and tires. The 20 inch wheel and tire combinations use a new hybrid wheel prototype design because full aluminium wheels are expensive and energy intensive to produce and full steel wheels are heavy, Citroen blend the two, resulting in 15% lighter wheels than the equivalent full steel wheel, contributing to an overall vehicle weight reduction of six kilograms. Citroen also partnered with Goodyear to use the Eagle Gold concept tire, which combines sustainability with longevity. And it has an intelligent technology for monitoring the tire's health and condition. The tire tread compound is made of nearly all sustainable or recycled materials, including sunflower oils, rice husk, ash silica, as well as pine trees, resins, and full natural rubber, which replaces synthetic petroleum-based rubber. The Eagle Gold concept tire can achieve up to 310,000 lifespan, an 11 millimeter tread depth can be renewed twice across the lifetime of the tire. Moving to the bonnet, Citroen uses very rigid, light and strong panels. They're so strong that an adult like myself can stand on them, sit on them, walk around, moving around, and as well as having a 50% weight reduction when compared to an equivalent steel roof construction. You also get roof rails on each side of the roof panel, allowing to attach accessories like your bicycle racks, roof boxes, whilst below the bonnet's panel are neatly detailed storage areas, including compartments for charging cables, plus personal and emergency items. The BASF co-created materials used here is made from recycled corrugated cardboard formed into honeycomb sandwich structure between fiberglass reinforcing panels. They're also coated in Elastoflex polyurethane resin covered in protective layer of tough textured elastic coat, which is often used on parking decks or loading ramps and painted with innovative waterborne BASF RM Agils paint. All this means this is very rugged and durable. On the back, instead of conventional boots, Ollie features a pickup bed inside the boots for added practicality. The independent rear seat address pop into the roof. The rear screen glass opens upwards with the flat 994 millimeters wide removable load bed expanding in length from 679 millimeters to 1050 millimeters. The tailgate folds down and with the load bed panel removed, there's up to 582 millimeters heights between the vehicle floor and the rear glass. 
with the panel in place, 330 millimeters of height of useful and secure trunk space is available below. The removable bed panel is light and flat and made from the same recycled cardboard structure as the bonnet and roof panels. There's also an additional storage boxes that are located on the side walls to provide secure undercover stowage. Inside the Ollie, there's plenty of space and orange finishing makes it feel brighter and lifts the mood. Typically, where most cars have huge and multiple displays, Ollie features a single symmetrical beam running across the width of the console and features the steering column and a smartphone dock and five clearly identified toggle switches for the climate control. The beam houses an electrified rail into which accessories can be plugged via USB sockets that slides along it. There are also two direct air vents, one each in front of the driver and passenger, allowing the use of smaller air conditioning units to further aid efficiency and reduce weight. Sitting behind and below the beam is a recyclable 3D printed thermoplastic polyurethane storage shelf featuring flexible mushrooms which keep objects like coffee cups or soda cans in place. In the car, all the infotainment and communication you need is brought into the vehicle using your smartphone, which is docked into the center socket on the beam. In terms of phone size, this is a typical Google Pixel 4a kind of size. So I'm not sure this will fit a full on iPhone 14 Pro Max, but maybe that will change in the real thing. Once plugged in, phone information and apps are merged with essential vehicle data like speed and charge level. This is made visible via a smart band system, which projects information across the width of the lower windscreen surround. The same approach is used for in-vehicle audio. Each end of the beam is hollow and cylindrical Bluetooth loudspeakers can be docked to provide high quality sound for listening to podcasts or music on the move. And if you happen to go camping or stop for a picnic, you can also take those speakers with you and listen to music on the go. The steering wheel itself features a game controller like joystick and incorporates a neat rotating ship lever dial for the vehicle's automatic transmission control coupled with the start stop button. The front seats are made up of strong tubular frames onto which are mounted a comfortable base cushion covered in textile made from 100% recycled polyester, which is 100% recyclable. The backrests are 3D printed with a mesh finishing and with an integrated headrest. And although they're slim, they're highly supportive, comfortable and rigid. Rear seat passengers can use the backrest exposed tubular frame to mount accessories. For example, a small tablet device powered via USB sockets and on each side of the vehicle below the rear seats is a discrete storage compartment for a first aid kit. For performance and drive experience, which is while I'm here today, Oli would use a 40 kilowatt hour battery with a range of up to 248 miles between charges. Citroen also limited the top speed of the Oli to 68 miles per hour to maximize efficiency, whilst rapid charging capability ensures a charge from 20% to 80% in just 23 minutes. With all the weight reduction, Citroen hopes it will achieve close to the quoted WLTP range. The turning circle on this thing is incredible. <laughs> it just feels really good. And uh, you sit quite high up as well, which is really nice. Um, visibility is great. I can see everything clearly and it might take some getting used to, but it's really nice. It's different. I think that's my conclusion for this. It's different and it's a new kind of energy. It's the, what we, what I call innovation is, you know, it's, it's different. I like it. I like it. Bravo. Bravo Citroen. Furthermore, there's also a vehicle to grid and vehicle to load capability. And considering it's 40 kilowatt hour battery and a power circuit output of 3.6 kilowatts, so equivalent of a 230 volt six amp domestic socket, Oli can theoretically provide power to a 3000 watts electric device for around 12 hours. Although I didn't get to drive it on actual roads in the UK due to this being a concept, one thing I will say is it feels very light, it's easy to maneuver with short turning circles. Overall, I'm really digging the Ollie and Citroen believes electrification should not mean extortion and being eco-conscious should not be punitive by restricting our mobility or making vehicles less rewarding to live with. So that's everything you need to know about the new or the concept Citroen Ollie. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you have any questions, drop them there as well. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I shall see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.